Welcome back, everybody, to Funoi Crossover. PJ Stay here, Marky Mark with the Scarf, and we got JR. Your last point was about student athletes and training them. Now you are married to your business, and we're not we're not, talk, not talking about the engagement that you just had <laughs> to your your soon to be wife. But now you have a business to be looking after for. So talk about your business and talk about the inspiration and I guess the day in the life of a business owner. Um, okay, well, it all it all really started. <laughs> when life said no. So when, when, when life told me, or when Ontario told me I couldn't bring my teaching diploma from the Philippines over here uh, to be a teacher, that was a big hit. Um, already from the get-go, the fact that I was a Filipino male not going into nursing or doctors or, or to be a lawyer, you know, my parents already were like, you really want to be in school to be a teacher? You know, I had those questions already. And I'm sure a lot of you Filipinos that are looking at this, you know, mom and dad want a certain career path for you, right? So when I told them and I, I opened up the idea about starting a business, like I told you um, when, we were, like, when we first met today, it, it was just, I, had a, I, I went on Google and I said, hey, hey Google, what, is, uh, what are the steps to making a business? And somewhere down, down Google, I saw this page that said you have to answer two questions. First question is, what are you good at? Second question is, how can society benefit from, benefit from what you're good at? For me, what I, what I was good at, actually, I even made a T-chart. I put, you're, you're young, you know how to teach, you know how to train, um, and you're good with, with youth and, and helping draw out stuff from the youth that they might not know how to draw out from themselves. And then what can society benefit from, from you? Um, for me, in Brantford and in surrounding cities, there's no basketball trainers. Um, so for me, it was just, you know, how can I provide a service for the community that I wish I had? Um, I wish I had a trainer. I wish I had someone telling me that my shot form was broken back when it was, even though I was, I was, I was good. It just, I, I feel like I could have done better, right? Um, same thing with my body movement and, and all that. So I did that. Um, and just like a lot of people that start or, or start a business or want to start a business, you know, we do things that we have to to help fund that business. So I was able to at least use my diploma to do before and after school teaching. So glorified babysitting mm -hmm. through YMCA uh, programs for schools is, uh, is what they call it, what, what we as staff members would call it there. So I was doing that for about a year to, to save up money to put into the business. Um, I never took money from my fiance. I never took money from my my parents because I really wanted to go into this like independently. Mm -hmm. Now, so I had my idea, and I would always go home after like my my job at the YMCA and 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 tell my fiance, man, like like I'm I know I'm better than this. I know I want more than this. It's just how how am I supposed to go out and do this? And she was like, because she's a she's she's a business woman herself, mm -hmm. um, and I get a lot of inspiration from her. And mm -hmm. the initial inspiration is how can I benefit? How can I create a life for my son? Yeah. So those two are my always my my number two backbones and reasons for for living, eating, sleeping, breathing. Everything that I am mm -hmm. just goes all the way for those two. Yeah. Um, and so she was like, yeah, I agree. Like, you either come back, come out to Toronto with me and, and let's move, let's, let's try to start a life out here. And yeah. I was like, nah, like, I know my community needs me. I just got to figure yeah. out a way to, to present it to them. Yeah. So I had to reintroduce myself to the basketball community. Um, and I, I feel like in a way I still am mm -hmm. um, trying to get, get used to them. They're getting used to me type of thing. And um, I was actually training people that I met through my... Uh, through my, my feeder school from the YMCA. Yeah. So with that school, um, because I was working with like the kindergarten to grade ones and twos, um, I would always see like the grade sevens and eights. And I knew they were basketball players. I heard they were basketball players and I would see some shooting around. And from there, it was just like, a, hey, I'm starting this up. Like, you want to mm -hmm. come through? And um, I, I'm very grateful that four, about four or five of them from the start are still with me now and we still train. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. So that was like, that's pretty much how that kind of started. I'm, in that whole process, I also went through this company, this program where it's like a Shark Tank type of program where the, it's called the BRC Starter Company Program. Now, when you go through it, they help you make a business plan. They help you uh, learn the in, ins and outs of tax writing or filing taxes and pretty much how to run a business if you don't have any business experience. 
And at the end of it, you present your business idea in front of a panel, literally in front, yeah. and there's like lights are dimmed and everything. And <laughs> yeah, dramatic. literally, yeah. yeah. And um, they, they tell you if they believe in your idea and they sign off on a $5,000 grant oh, wow. um, for you to earn. And luckily, like I, well, I wouldn't even say luckily, I've worked for that, but mm -hmm. um, I got a big thumbs up, um, all of, like almost perfect scores from everybody, and I was granted the $5,000. Now, even before this, I already started the business. I already yeah. started training and all that um, because I knew in my heart and in my mind that this is what I wanted to do mm -hmm. from, for, for a very, very, very long time. So um, I got to use that money, though, to help pay for gym rentals um, and help pay for some equipment. Mm -hmm. But again, still the same, haven't, haven't asked for money from, my, from any, anybody else except for what I earned mm -hmm. or those things like those grants. Um, well, the grant. And um, yeah, so then moving forward, it's like I said in, in, um, in, in the earlier part of this interview, the, my life as a student athlete has led me into this, yeah. right? So being able to grind and work in the Philippines has developed me to become like the businessman that I, I, I like to think that I am today. Mm -hmm. And I've, I, I put a lot of credit into like my struggles at UP, even though I don't get to use my diploma. Yeah. Right. I know some people out there would say like you wasted your time, like you mm -hmm. don't you don't even to use your diploma like you yeah. you were supposed to. Um, for me, it was just the experience. You mm -hmm. know, I, I get to look at my my athletes in the eyes and say like. I was in your situation. Yeah. I was in the situation that you're trying to get to, right? If I if I didn't go to the Philippines and I then try, I started to try to train, like I have no no merit. I don't yeah. have credentials, right? Yeah, exactly. Now I have all like the photos, the videos, the proof, my diploma, right? Yeah, I might not be using it the way that society tells me to use it, but I get to use it in a way that my community, my 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 rural family, you know, gets to benefit from. Mm -hmm. So. Um, how do yeah. you, how, you went through UP and you've seen different types of trainings, whether from LaSalle, UP, and Brantford. How do you structure, I, I'm assuming your, your camp is the main like, service that you provide to the community? Um, so the personal basketball yeah. skills training is actually mm -hmm. my main, mm -hmm. um, the yeah. one that I do on, on a more like everyday basis. Yeah. Camps and clinics and all that, that's the stuff that helps fund and sustain the business mm -hmm. because of the large numbers, yeah. right? Um, and I, I, I like I think about that too. I think yeah. like how how am I any different? How how is what we do any different from any other training? Mm -hmm. And for me personally, it's that it's personal. Like mm -hmm. I, I take everything going through the business personally. Everyone that helps with the business, I don't reach out too much from outside of our circle. So our past videographers, photographers, were all um, cousins of mine that I was just asking them for help. Um, the ones that are my coaches at the camps are now people that I've trained since the start, since for like two or three years now, because they know my language, they know mm -hmm. my style, and, and I trust that they believe in what we're doing versus you know hiring someone where they may or may not believe in what we're doing and they go and work two or three different camps and they're just doing it to do it, to yeah. make money, you know? So, like, it's, like I, just, I just pulled in all my past experiences and mm -hmm. I just keep everybody's face in the back of my head where it's like, you're doing this for so-and-so. Mm -hmm. You're doing this because so-and-so is about to get a scholarship offer. You're doing this because um, this athlete wants to get the offer, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're, I'm, not, I'm not doing it for people that like, don't believe in our, in our system, don't mm -hmm. believe in our community, don't believe in me, you mm -hmm. know? It's just, that's how I kind of work, you know? Mm -hmm. if, if I hear criticism and whatnot, and I do a, a lot where people think, you know, you're, what you're doing is great, but I think you could do it better. I think you could do this instead. I'm like, yo, you, you guys don't even, you guys haven't even been in the gym with me. You guys mm -hmm. haven't even trained with me. So mm -hmm. let's kind of put a wall there and kind of cut that, right? <laughs> um, on, on that so, note, I know you've been in business for, what, one year, two years? Uh, going on my third, third year. year yeah. yeah, going into my third year. Now, is there, an, is there a specific example of, like, something that touched your heart? I know you have a lot of campers. Is there any, a, a success story, a scholarship offer, one thing that really touched you and really made, made that reinforcement that, like you said, some people don't think... Um, like you could have done better. Is there anything that really reinforced what you're doing was right to you? Man, my first day, my yeah. first day of, of training, um, the very first summer, because I didn't want people to make price and uh, a, a kind of a reason to say no, mm -hmm. I was training athletes for an hour and a half, 
uh, at $25 for an hour and a half. And that was killing me because I ended up getting like uh, five to six athletes a day for an yeah. hour and a half for 20, like it was just yeah. it was gas money almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the very, very first day, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget it, man. It was, uh, it was, like, it was almost like something out of a movie because the sun was <laughs> setting. Like it was, I went in and the sun was rising. I left with the yeah. sun setting. Yeah. And I just, like I had parents and everything like, tell me after the first day where it's like man this is this is just amazing like I can see my kid is just they've never responded to someone so well right um and I just remember going home from from that day where in my head I was just thinking I'm never going back to anything like I'm not going back to school I'm not going back to any like regular job and nothing against like regular jobs right but I'm not I'm not I'm not going back from being a businessman like whatever I do next after this or if this is it for the rest of my life, like I always want to be in control of my time, in control of my my kind of my salary, and I, I wanna I wanna have freedom and control over how I maneuver through life, right? I don't I don't want to have to work for for anyone and help them kind of, you know. I I I've learned the same thing with student athlete life, like um, because of my struggles at UP and you know barely making the team. To almost not making the t- or not making the not making the team to barely making the team the same year, and then a year and a half, two years later, being the team captain, I did that because I put in that work, mm-hmm. right? And yes, I had a strong community behind me in terms of the trainers, but that was because I bothered them to give me the extra work. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing as the businessman now. It's just I hold myself very, very accountable to how well my family does, uh, how well my business does, and how much all of us are going to grow together, right? Mm-hmm. If people aren't going to, um, in a way, if people aren't going to develop, it's, it, it's because it takes a, it takes a village. Yeah. Like that's kind of one of my philosophies too. Mm-hmm. Like it, it all, it, all of us have to work together for you to succeed. Yeah. So, yeah. The, what a way to end it. I think yeah. the main thing is you'll put in the work and put in the work, yeah. whether it's you, you're a student athlete or you're a business person, you have to put in the work day in and day out. And, and be committed. Stay committed, yeah. Hey, the episode just went quick, went by fast. Marky Mark, oh anything you'd like to say as we're ending? Well, I just want to thank our fans, our followers, everyone out there that follows our Facebook page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, at Pinoy Crossover. Keep supporting us and keep sharing us all these amazing things because this is what makes us continue this. Share stories about basketball and inspire you guys to pursue if basketball really is for you. And Jerry, uh, who would you like to shout out and any projects coming up or where they where can they find you? Um, so shout out to of course my fiance, my son. Uh, they're just they're out chilling at the mall right now. So <laughs> thanks for driving out here with me. Um, and my my brand for community, my people at Roll. Um, you guys just help inspire me and, and, and motivate me every single day of my life to, to be better and present to you. Um, moving forward, actually, my fiance and I recently bought a home over the summer in August, um, pretty much reshaped the whole basement to be opened up to our athletes. Oh. So we have a team slash, like a family slash team functional room. Yeah. So we can do film studies, film reviews, homework, study hall type oh. of thing in that room. The room after is a, a pretty, semi fully equipped weight room so wow. yeah um so moving forward we're gonna have like things such as uh game film reviews uh, seminars on how to cut video because i don't like a lot of parents they, they they come to me and say hey can you film that's not my main thing though mm. so you know if you if you get a camera if you take video now we're, i'll teach you how to cut teach. it so mm. we're teaching just so much different stuff a lot of weights and conditioning stuff adding uh, coming up and um, we're going to start expanding our circle. But that's uh, keeping that one under wraps again. <laughs> there it is. So follow him on social media. We'll include some of his links on, on, in our social media channels. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, JR, for coming. And hey, stay balling. <laughs>